in my little tiny hundred square foot apartment, I had my door I had turned into like a manifest wall. So every morning I wake up and see this thing and I put the date that I wanted to go out and street perform. I was just so scared, like I don't know if this is gonna work. But I just kept that date up there and I, okay, I'm just gonna go see about it. All right, I'm ready to do this. You guys ready? cool thing about moving to Seattle was like nobody knew me. I just remember walking around downtown and just being like, nobody knows me and I can do and be whoever I want to be. And that was such a cool thing to realize like, I have that freedom to reinvent myself. I moved here in 2007 where I wasn't doing anything in Spokane and I was kind of like feeling like I need to find something outside of here. And at the time I was realizing that I was gay, but I pushed against it for a long time. I was just like really discovering who I was as an adult and as a person, feeling like I had something to offer. You know, in a lot of ways, that's probably why I became Christian, because I was looking for something that I could be a part of. But a lot of it was based off of fear and, you know, wanting to belong. You know, you're at that pivotal stage in your life where you don't, you don't have very much identity. You haven't lived enough life to really know anything. When there's this strong feeling of, like, you belong here, it's easy to just say, I do. You can actually look in the Bible that I have and it's like, if you turn the pages like quick, it'll always stop on the same page and it's about being gay and homosexuality because I was just like, well, maybe they just messed up. You know, maybe, like maybe God made a mistake on me. I like this jam actually. <laughs> I didn't know that I was like fully attracted to women yet, but I knew that I needed to figure that out and not feel judged about it. You know, leaving the church kind of, I don't think I would have found who I am today if I wouldn't have, have left that. I write music that evokes emotion and whatever that emotion is, is completely up to the listener. I write a lot of music trying to like inspire people to like push into the things that are hard rather than, you know, turn away cuz sometimes that's where all the good stuff is. It's been 90 days since I seen the sun. Sitting in the rain in the Seattle area. To show them like you can do this and you can live the life that you want to live. Even if you have all these things up against you, you can still, you know, persevere and make something of yourself. I know a place that I can go where I can finally call my own. It's where the sun is always shining. Day and night, day and night. These people just don't understand exactly who the hell I am. I've always been a star that's shining. Day and night, day and night. I just try to get people to think about stuff and to be present. And in that presence, that's what unites us, you know? 